All right, so I'm replacing my original MacBook Pro's hard drive, 500 gigabyte hard drive, with this Crucial MX100 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Should improve the performance of the computer a lot. And I bought this USB 3.0 enclosure for the to set up that hard drive. And uh, And plug it in. And it looks like a problem. I need to format it. Name, I'll make it an SSD. And erase it. And it worked. So here's the SSD. 255 gigabytes, which is half of a gigabyte much short, but that's fine, just a natural. Alright, and time to clone it. Alright, I'm going to go through the process of using the carbon copy cloner to clone your hard drive to the new one. So I found a form on the Apple website. Um, so there's a link. I'll put it in the description too. But I'd go through this. It has the whole upgrade process and everything you need to do, which is a good form or a good uh, post. And uh, so I recommend you go through that. But it has links to other things like the trim enabler, which I'll have to do, and install videos and. Here's the carbon copy cloner link, which I'm going to use. And download that. Open it up. And of course, you agree to everything on the internet. Um, yes, let's review that quick start guide. Okay, so the carbon copy cloner is pretty straightforward on how to use it. So I'm just going to plug in my new hard drive with the USB. There it is. And so the source is your current, um, your current hard drive you're using. Macintosh HD. And then the destination is a new one, obviously. Alright, and then I'm just going to press clone, but I'm going to stop the screen recording before that, just for the heck of it. So, uh, alright, I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, so it's in the middle of cloning to the new hard drive. Um, what it'll do is once you press clone down there, it'll ask you if you want to clone the recovery um, part of the hard drive, and you should do that. So it tells you how to do it, and just do that, and then close that window, and then just press clone down there, and this comes up, and it's cloning it. So I'll come back when it's done. All right, so it finished the clone, and so I just pressed, I closed out of carbon copy and unplugged the the uh, 
new hard drive so what I'm going to do is test it first before doing anything to the laptop so I'm just going to plug it in again to the USB port and there it is I've got all my stuff on that so I'm just going to shut down the computer and we're going to try to boot from the external drive. Okay, so now we're just going to press the power button and hold down option. Hold down option this whole time until something shows up like this. Alright, so now we got the hard drive inside. I have a boot camp petition for Windows there. And uh, the recovery. And now the new SSD and the same recovery on the SSD. So those two are copies of those two. So we'll try to boot from the SSD and see what happens. Got an apple from Bosch, good. And. Log in. Wow, how fast was that? And that's from the external, going through USB. Hmm. Might have to sign into everything again. Yeah, I still have. Very neat. It's about this Mac, let's see what this says now. Huh. Kinda cool. Alright, so now you know the solid state works. Okay, so after you make sure that um, the, the new hard drive works, I would, you have to shut off your computer before you uh, disconnect it. Um, and then I just had mine off for a while. I'm just having it sit there and cool down. I just have a pillowcase on my desk so it doesn't scratch it. I'm the computer nice and cool now because it's off for a while. And so here's on the Crucial website, it has the installation instructions for all kinds of different um, MacBooks, all the different computers. I have MacBooks, so I have MacBook Pro, so they don't even have my model. Mine's a mid-2012, and the latest thing they have is an early 2011. So I just found one that's close to what I have, 15-inch i7. It's early 2011, but it'll do. It's just about the same, if not exactly the same. So I already opened that up, and uh, so it just gives you the instructions of how to uh, go through the whole process, everything you need to do. So I'm going to be following this, and I'll again put this link in the description, and uh, I'll go and fast forward so uh, it doesn't take a bunch of time. Okay, sorry the uh, camera died, but what happened is I took out the original hard drive. Here it is. It's at the bottom. It was here. It says how to do it. You basically pull it out and pull off the tab. And now I put on the spacer on. These are actually sticky strips, so I'm taking those off. 
Take it back out because I forgot to put on the tab to help pull it out. Do not forget to reconnect the battery. start up the real question no Apple logo let's try to press option see what happens there it is took a minute we found it though That's fast. Yeah, look how fast that was. Holy crap. All right, well, there is two things you should do after the install. Mine works fine, first try. Lucked out, I guess. But um, you should go to your system preferences, go to the startup disk, and just select should be the only thing there but uh, mine wasn't selected and that's probably why it took that little extra bit in the beginning of the startup uh, but now it's selected and that's it and then go back to that um, form where it talked about um, the trim enabler so go ahead to that So you can read about what it does exactly. So I'm going to download it. 